Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather, two awesome space images, we'll drop an Easter egg on the major white aspect of the disaster story, and we revisit the fires in the water. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was full of minor motions. Filaments are dancing, coronal hole turning through on the south, and the departing active region on the north continues firing after it has disappeared over the limb onto the far side. One of the southern filaments tried to erupt in Earth's direction, failed. Flaring and solar wind are calm, so let's hit our first paper, and we're not going very far at all. Total examination of the space weather risks and modern mitigation and avoidance techniques reveals that the issue of solar-induced technology failures, especially in the GPS category, is yet unresolved. Let's go to the Coma Cluster with the new E. Rosita views. The interaction among the galaxies is quite easy to see when the shocks, temperature of the plasma and gas, and even the radio plasma bridge connecting the core magnetic systems of the cluster is identified. From large scale to small as we come to a filament in Orion, after getting enough detail to pick out the denser filament fingers, they map them, and once again, as with every similar study of filaments, looks like lightning that went through space and left behind a dusty, smoky remnant. So folks, Major Maynard E. White, even if you've seen every video of mine, studied the disaster series in detail, read our book, read the book by Major White's son, I'm going to tell you something today you don't know. What we do know is that he commanded Project Nanook, the famous trip to the Arctic which discovered the magnetic pole position, discovered that it reverses cyclically, discovered the 12,000-year fossil layers alternating between polar and tropical samples, and that he took with him documents and information from the mission and the Pentagon meetings, which he later gave to his son Ken to publish for the rest of us in World in Peril, Arctic, Disaster Cycle, and the secret documents to prove it. But what you probably don't know is what he did after Project Nanook. After administrative projects for a few years, he was in charge of assigning spies in Europe, as well as colonels there and in Africa. After that, he became the head of manned space flight at NASA, where he played a critical role in the Apollo program. Not even Doug Vogt knows that one. But for the rest of us, it helped solidify White's top secret position and access, especially in regards to what the government knew about the disaster cycle. His involvement in what most modern catastrophists believe was a cover for the disaster study on the moon, Apollo. It's really kind of hard to ignore the evidence from the Pentagon that the world turns over, and when we add all these Easter eggs about Major White, who commanded that Project Nanook, the picture begins to come together. Now let's close here by going back to that story of the fire in the Gulf of Mexico. They want us to believe a pipeline burst and then lightning struck the exact spot where the leak occurred. But on July 4th, something similar happened in Azerbaijan. This one made its way above the surface of the water, both the fire production and in the deposition of the material of the mud volcano that caused it. The Caspian Sea is not as deep as the Gulf of Mexico, especially where they drill, so the surface accumulation here is actually expected. Given the known tar and mud volcanoes in the Gulf, I'm not sure that's the worst explanation for this one. As much as I would love to be able to say it was magic smart lightning, it would help my cause and help the things we discuss on this channel, it simply makes no sense. And the option I shared here, it's actually a bit more scary because it says something about the energy beneath our feet. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.